Hello and welcome to another edition of Patia Channel's very own breakfast show that goes by the name of Good Morning Patia. I'm your regular host, Nick Pendrell, but joining us on the co-host chair <laughs> is the glamorous and lovely Kunji. Hello, good Thank morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, I really have to, you the one who called me emergency, emergency. Emergency, <laughs> emergency co-host today. <laughs> well, yeah. it's lovely to see you. Well, lovely and to see you And thank you for too. getting up bright and early to be with no us today. No problem. And we also have a very interesting guest with us today in the form of Gregory from the Patia Music uh, Club. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Nice to see you here. Thank you. So, it's about Patia and it's about classical music. Right. Tell us what you do with classical music in Pattaya. Yeah. Well, our group is called Patia Classical Music. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we are basically an informal group of expats who get together to try and promote uh, classical music concerts in Patia. Right. right. So, sorry. Go on. Go on. No, oh, okay. I was going to ask, so what you do, you, you bring in the, the, the classical music uh, uh... bands, if you like, yes. Yeah. We try and do that. Uh, we have two basic uh, types of concert. First of all, um, a few times a year we try and get a big concert together. Mm. Um, recently we helped Tiffany and Patia International Ladies Club organize a concert in the Tiffany's, um, the full orchestra mm -hmm. um, in February. We organized a solo piano recital uh, in uh, Patia Bayshore Hotel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Yamaha sponsored us, brought a oh, piano so down. So there isn't a, a suitable concert piano. What, in the in, whole of Pattaya? Except in one place. <laughs> wow. Which is in my place. In your place? Indeed. Uh, so, but I didn't want to take that. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not that easy, not that most portable of instruments. Indeed. No, but it's so, like a flute for that. Uh -huh. So uh, we ha we held that concert, and uh, with one of the best Russian pianists mm -hmm. in the world, right. who's just recently won a major competition in America, the Gina Bakauer competition, right, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, before that, uh, last year we did a concert. Um, Mozart and Vivaldi come to Patia. Mm -hmm. um, it was a string orchestra, the same one that's coming uh, next week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Essentially the same, by a different name, same people in it. Uh, they played uh, Vivaldi's Four Seasons, ever mm -hmm. popular. Sure. Uh, and they're coming again next Saturday, the 12th, 5 p.m. at Siam Bayshore Hotel to play an all Mozart program. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So how long have you been involved with this? When did you start? We started um, second half of last year. Oh, so it's so quite I, recent then. It's quite recent, yeah. And at the same time, I started promoting uh, small chamber music and piano recitals in my house. Right. Which is otherwise known as Lulu and Daisy Goat Farm. <laughs> Lulu and Daisy Goat Farm. <laughs> yes, which is in fact an institution in Nongplala. If you look up the Google map, you'll see it. Oh, that's right. Well, I've got that accurate, yeah. have I? Well, wow. I had to submit yeah, the yes. <laughs> So uh, that's a small room, 70 square meters, about the size of this room, and uh, we can fit 30 people or so. Oh, all wow. right. That, that's nice. good. And we have wonderful musicians coming. Excellent. In fact, I'm just going to the airport after this interview to pick up a fellow I've invited from Croatia to come and play for us. Really? He's just coming to Patia to play in my place. Good grief. Mm. That's uh, dedication mm -hmm. on his <laughs> behalf to fly all that way for one concert. Oh, well, I'm paying you for it. So <laughs> you'll get something, get something for it. So your love of classical music, I take it, dates back quite a long way. Decades. Decades and decades. So yes. What first you got, got you interested in classical music? Oh, gosh, Ooh. what first got me interested? Yes. Probably my father playing um, who was that fellow Jose Carlos has switched on Bach? Oh, really? You know, the Moog synthesizer yeah, of the 60s? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, that's probably what got me interested in it, but I didn't realize at that time that it was classical music. Mm -hmm. And then I think maybe some years later, my mother heard me listening to Paganini violin concertos mm. with disdain. She thought Paganini was a bit <laughs> trivial. Mm. I think actually Paganini is wonderful, so mm -hmm. all for Paganini violin concertos, of which there are six. So she bought me a few LPs in those right. days, vinyl, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and that got me interested at about the age of 17. 17? Yeah. That's quite an early age. And how long have you been in Patia? Oh, Patia. 
2001. Oh, a long, long time. 13 years. Yeah. So was the, was the classical music scene in Pattaya like this sort of void desert before you started to form this company and bring classical music here? Uh, probably, you know, probably. Yes, I mean, there have been previous attempts to hold concerts in Pattaya. Right. There have been a few concerts and there are occasionally uh, informal uh, concerts being held, for example, Mantra holds mm -hmm. concerts sometimes, mm -hmm. but there is no group that I'm aware of that has, well, other than us, there was, but they, they dissolved, you know, who has an agenda of trying to bring concerts here and get, yes. making a name and having a website mm -hmm. and trying to get, generate interest and generate some continuity. Yes, mm. yeah. So how many events per year are you planning on organising, say, this year? For example, well, this year this will be probably what this would be our second or third, fourth, four or five. Mm. Okay. Because we're all, you know, it's a, it's it's just a, a hobby. For right. Us. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us are interested in music. Some of us are interested in marketing. There's five or six of us, and we meet and try and organise these events. But we all have other things to do. So sure. It's, no. It's just a... Uh, so this is just uh, something you do? This is a hobby. Oh, yeah, this is just hobby. a hobby. Yeah. Even the concerts at my place, it's just mm -hmm. a hobby. So right. I can imagine there's a huge amount of organisation involved and the more people that are involved, Correct. the more well, organisation yeah. there's going to be. A big, exactly. A big concert like the one in Siam Bayshore on Saturday 12th, mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot of work. Right. Right. Big concerts, and we tend to burn out and get fed up with it. I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. So, I can imagine. Yes. You know, the idea of doing two or three together. Originally, we had the ambitious idea that we would do six or twelve in a year. Mm. Or, I think six in a year, but it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot. Uh, especially <laughs> the marketing. The marketing is really the main thing. Yes, mm. correct. Right? Turning up on the day and telling people to sit here and open this door and what have you, and mm. then making a little speech at the that's no big deal. But the marketing. Yes. Trying to reach people. Yes. Idea. That's a big... So what people are you reaching in your past concerts? Well, we're reaching... I mean, we're mainly reaching expats. Mm -hmm. During the high season, we were trying to reach Russians, and we mm. reached quite a few Russians. Oh, okay. uh, this low season, they're not such a market, because I'm told most of them have gone home, although mm -hmm. there's still a few around. Mm -hmm. uh, we're try we would like to reach Thai people, because the the majority of the population is Thai people. Sure. And the majority of the people who click on the Patia Classical Music Facebook page, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. click on likes, are Thai people. All right. Right. And young Thai people. Mm -hmm. And we have special discounts for people under the age of 26. <gasps> I... <laughs> yeah. uh -oh. You're there? Yes, you just yeah, qualified. Right. <laughs> we have special discounts, uh, 300 baht instead of the usual 500 baht, right. because oh. we want to try and encourage young people and also Thai people, mm -hmm. but we want to try and encourage Thai people, whatever age they are, okay. because they are the majority of people in Absolutely. Well, and yeah. I'm sure and many of them are interested, in, but I, I, fee I think they don't dare, they think may maybe that it's a Farang event. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. So it's difficult to... To reach them? Re well, yeah. it's easy to reach them, but, it's difficult uh, yeah. to persuade them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's what about what Thai mean. performers? Do you They're all Thai them? performers that are coming down. Oh, so they are oh, yes. Thai. Yeah, absolutely. We're Tasana Nagawatura, uh, Siripong Tiptan. Siripong is the concert master. That's the first violin of Bangkok Symphony Orchestra. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful violinist. Tasana is the director, deputy dean of yeah, Silipakon, he's a director. Mm -hmm. of Silipakon University. And he is one of the finest violinists in the country. Really? Absolutely superb. Yes. Oh, really? That's, that's yeah. interesting. First class. They're first class musicians, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's definitely not some squeaky local band that we're bringing out. They're first class, world class. And the conductor is uh, Momluang Usni Pramod, who is one of the original uh, classical music founders of Thailand back in the 50s. I think they started this orchestra called Pro Musica. Mm. Actually, they, they started as a string quartet and mm -hmm. they developed into Pro Musica and then they developed into Bangkok Symphony Orchestra and the idea of Pro Musica was uh, left by the wayside. And so Tasana had the idea to uh, start up a chamber orchestra. Right. So this is a small orchestra, but it has, you know, it'll have w woodwind as well a few woodwind, right, mm -hmm. as well as strings. So it's not just a string orchestra. It has. It's oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So what is the biggest event that you've held to date? Or it was the first one we did, the Vivaldi Mozart. And how many... Uh, we had about 350 people. people. We had so many people, we had to find new chairs, wow. new, more wow. seats to cram that's, people. That's mm -hmm. It was too much. Yeah. Yeah, it was very successful. I mean, it shows that there is a great... Um, thirst for classical music and party. I mean, there's so many people, there's bound to be... Mm. Yeah, by the law of averages. Uh, mm. Yeah, by the law of averages, there's bound to be a critical mass sufficient to mm. go to a few concerts. Mm. So, you know, it's a non... Our organization is a non-profit organization. All we want to do is hold the concerts and break even, so yeah. we try and keep the price low. Yeah and make it accessible. Well, you will, the price is low and you know, you, you, you buy, you pay for a ticket, but for something very marvelous, the, the, the big... Oh, to actually. me, 500 baht sounds like a bargain, because what sort of prices would you play, pay to see this caliber of musician mm -hmm. perform in London or New York or something? Yes. You'd probably pay, say, 50, 60, 70, 80 euros, maybe 1,500 baht, 2,000 baht. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, so or, kind of yeah, 100, real bargain. Or, yeah, 100 dollars. Oh, yeah. It's a real bargain. Like but, yeah. yeah, but it's actually 500 baht is pretty much the standard price for uh, non, for small concerts in, in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, yeah. for example, if you go to, uh, I think even the Thailand Philharmonic Orchestra is 500, I'm not sure. About Thailand Philharmonic. Um, it's more 1,500 to. Is it? To, the the to, Bangkok Symphony to, Orchestra is 1,500, but then they yeah. have international artists that. There's more. Mm, yeah. Mm, that more. Yeah. And uh, at my place at Eel Swamp, by the way, Eel Swamp <laughs> is the name of the place, which is the English translation of Nampla Lai. Right. Well, All right. Eel Swamp, yeah, it is. Is that right? Yeah, Nampla Lai. I don't think of that Nampla Lai. <laughs> sounds it a lot is. nicer <laughs> in Thai. Well, in Thai, it sounds <laughs> nicer, or it's in English. Like, yeah. But you won't forget Eel Swamp if you hear it. No, no, no. I won't What's remember the name of that, that one. Place? <laughs> <laughs> and where exactly in uh, Nampla Lai? I mean, where exactly? Yes, is that well, Long Plain Lai doesn't easy. really have many exact places except for the Raman <laughs> <Exactly> prison. Exactly not. <laughs> so uh, it's on the other side of thirty of Highway yes, thirty six. Yes, okay, that one. Yes. Let's say uh, between Sukhumvit Road and the Regent School. The Regent School. It's halfway between there. Okay. And these small ones that you do yeah. at home, how often do you put one of those together? Depends when we get. It depends when we get. Uh, how how often I have uh, suitable people. Right. I judge it very carefully according to the program and the artist. Mm -hmm. and so sometimes we'll have one a month, sometimes twice a month. Right. Depends well, who comes. Quite around. regularly though. Yeah. Uh, compared to the what you say five or six big events that you're holding mm. each year. Yeah. I mean they're easy to organise. There's very little marketing involved. We have a mailing list. We send yeah. them out. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if anyone's interested, they can look at eelswampblogspot.com <laughs> and find the programs. Oh, right. Okay. Or just That's Google it. Eel Swamp Music Patia and it's easy to find. Eel Swamp. So everybody remember that. Eel Swamp. Yeah. Eel if you swamp, Google that, there can't yeah. be many other eel swamps on, <laughs> I don't the, on think the internet, so. I would imagine. I, don't think so. <laughs> I think this is the only eel swamp. <laughs> So tell us about your big upcoming uh, event once once again. Okay. It's a small chamber orchestra, it's about 20 people in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the program is an all Mozart program. Yeah. It starts with Symphony Number no. 1 of Mozart, which Mozart wrote reputedly when he was eight years old. Impressive. Yes. And uh, you might think, oh, well, that's only of interest, historical interest, but it's not. It's actually really a very interesting piece of music. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of our friends suggested that his father must have had a hand in helping him write right, it because yeah. you couldn't imagine an eight-year-old mm. composing something so polished. The major work is Mozart's Symphonia Concertante, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is for violin and viola, which is like a cross between a concerto and a symphony, right. which basically means the solos to play along with the orchestra. Mm -hmm. So, but this is one of Mozart's absolutely most wonderful sublime works. Right. It brings a tear to the eye. It is so beautiful. And where is it being held again? Siam Bayshore. Siam Bayshore. And the date is? 12th, Saturday the 12th of July. 12th of July. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Let me stress that. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> because we thought, why have concerts on at dinner time? Either have it before or after. So, and what's the running time of a classical? It'll concert? run for an hour and a half or so. So okay, it'll, so. you know, we'll probably start a bit late, five fifteen. So it'll be finished by seven. Uh, oh, okay. How do people find out uh, more information about it? Uh, Go to our website, uh, patiaclassicalmusic.com, 
uh, go to the Sahin Bay Shore Hotel, go to the reception and buy one, buy more than one, buy many tickets. <laughs> so you can buy a ticket at, you can buy at, ticket at, at the, the Sahin Bay Shore Hotel okay. for a mere 500 baht. Very good. Well, thank you for coming and joining us. Pleasure. Best thank of you. luck with thank the forthcoming uh, concert. Thank you very much. Thank you. And our viewers, stay tuned and we'll be right back with part two soon.